Good day and welcome you all to our news today. Mr. Biden and First Lady Joe Biden met the Queen at Windsor Castle yesterday, following the end of the G7 summit in Cornwall. The visit included a guard of honor and afternoon tea with the monarch, who is said to have asked him about China Xi Jinping and Russia Vladimir Putin. Mr. Biden left his place on the 95-year-old stating at worst. I don't think she's being insulted, but she reminded me of my mother, the love for her and just the generosity. The White House revealed that Mr. Biden had met the Queen before, in 1982, when he was a young senator, and it was his own mother who gave him a piece of advice. In a memo he published several years ago, he stated that, she told him, don't you bow down to her? According to reports, he did not bow for her on Sunday, which some saw as a snap, but is not a breach of royal protocol. One tweeter is all noted. NP was supposed to bow a courtesy as a form of respect to the Queen? Just curious. Another added, is there a reason Biden and his wife didn't bow for the Queen? And a third claimed, they were supposed to courtesy and bow to her. Don't they have any manners? There are no obligatory course of behavior when meeting the Queen, but many people wish to observe the traditional form. For men, this a night bow. Why women do a small courtesy? but many world leaders have chosen not to do this before. The Queen had met every U.S. president since World War II, with the exception of Lyndon Johnson, and there had been a, a number of blunders. In 2018, Donald Trump was criticized for both walking in front of her and putting his hand on her back. In 2009, Michelle Obama frequently put her arm around the Queen's back as the two shared complaints about their aching feet at the reception of the, G of the G20 group of world leaders in London. And in 2007, John Bruce misspoke, saying the Queen had the U.S. celebrate its bicentennial in 17, before catching himself and quickly correcting the date to 1976. Mr. Bruce said afterwards, she gave me a look that only a mother could give a child. It has been a busy weekend for Her Majesty, who met world leaders on Friday when she attended the G7 reception at the Eden Project in Cornwall. She was then rushed back to Windsor in the evening, so she could attend trooping the color. The official birthday parade to mark the Queen's 95th birthday was a scaled-down event because of COVID-19 restrictions. It was only the first official event the Queen had carried out at the castle seen Prince Philip's funeral six weeks ago. So that's the end of the news. If you enjoyed this one, please hit the like and subscribe to our news channel so that you cannot miss out any latest news coming up next. Thank you for listening and stay safe everyone. Good luck!